Hello everybody, I'm Sirius and welcome to Pony Express. <laughs> it's getting so old. I need a new intro catchphrase, I guess you would say. But anyway, we're here to discuss more important things, such as the fanfiction for today. Yes, I'm going to be reading again. And before we start, I'd like to point something out. And honestly, I'm nowhere near popular yet, nowhere near it, just, just a small group of people who so happen to watch my videos, and when something incredible happens, like this, I just sit there for 10 freaking minutes, like, oh my god, I just love you guys, you guys are amazing, I'm just... I'm literally nobody. I'm just some random guy in just, just some random guy who just wanted to make pony videos randomly. I'm not significant at all. <laughs> I yeah. Thanks. Just thank you for everything you've done to like just just pushing that subscribe button every time I see that counter tick up one notch it just makes my day honestly thank you anyway enough of saying thank you i've had enough of that already <laughs> um we can get on to awesomeness yay i will mention that this is going to be not too much of a serious reading like i've been trying to do it's gonna be more <laughs> funny I will be making random comments more often noticing flaws more often just stopping reading more often and it's meant to be funny it's not meant to be serious so and people do give me crap about my name being serious and serious it I don't get it I don't get it. Anyway, let us begin. This time, we'll be reading A Trip Across Town by Sonic Rainboom Girl. Hmm, wish I've heard of you before, but I haven't. Chances are, I probably sound completely different than I did about, I'd say, roughly half a second ago. That's because I've been gone for about an hour. Thing is, is I completely failed in this time frame that I'm speaking in right now. But thankfully, we have the power of technology to go back and move things around and change stuff. So now you don't get to hear me fail. Yay, but you're happy. Anyway, you do get to hear me win and say the author's name three times. Sonic Rain Boom Girl. And I'll repeat, Sonic Rain Boom Girl. And if you want me to hear, want to hear it a fourth time, you have to wait to the end of the reading to do that, because I'm not going to say it again till then. Anyway, I'm pretty sure I just said the name of the story, but for clarification, I'll say it again if I haven't already. A trip across town. No need to say the author name because I just said it five, three freaking times. I think, unless I'm counting wrong. I don't know. Well then, without further ado, let us begin. First off, this story appears to have two names. Quite interesting, I believe. I'm kind of confused why um, the title of the story is A Trip Across Town. The chapter is going for a walk, and in the chapter, it titled it as a trip across town. That's just a little bit n not necessary, but um, let us begin. Peppermint Twist smiled as she opened up a cupboard with one hoof and peered inside. No one knows it, but I secretly have two names, says Twist. It was a grin. One could... It was a grin. One could practically call invisible, and that's exactly how Twist felt. A 
Apparently, Twist has no feelings. We're learning this quite quickly. Why am I saying so much stuff in such a interesting tone? I don't know. I'm going to stop now. Ever since, ever since I lost my place. Damn it, super dies. Ever since she, ever since she'd received her cutie mark and discovered her calling for candy making, the young filly felt so renewed as a pony. Implying that she wasn't a pony. Twist. Okay. Okay. Life of Twist. She starts off as a peppermint stick. Now? Yeah. That was kind of terrible. Okay. Where was I? I hate this. Practically every day she whipped up a batch of sweet treats, and today was no exception. She decided earlier, while talking to Truffle Shuffle, that it was time she practiced making peanut brittle again. And she decided to bring him a bag filled with sticky, sticky, nutty goodness. That sounds bad. Very very bad it was going to be a surprise though oh it's even worse knowing her foodie friend he'd he'd be more than delighted no matter how it turned out Blech. yes Blech, a upbeat tune, Twist placed a tin, tin of sugar down on the counter and watched, watched the white powder bounce. This, can, this story is confusing me so much. Honestly, I'm just confused as hell as to what is going on. Is she tripping or something? I mean, seriously, what? <sighs> She then pulled out the salt and turned her attention to the measuring cups. She needed one cup of water next, and she placed the cup delicately in her mouth, biting down hard so she wouldn't drop it. She climbed atop a stool with ease, thanks to her long legs, and reached for the faucet with one hoof. Twist the filly, you don't have long e long legs. Long eggs? What? Twist leaned over the sink, trying not to get water. Water? What? I can't read today. Water droplets on her glasses as she filled up the measuring cup with water. What else would you fill it up with? Squirt Squinting intently, squinting intently at the water level rising. All levels at once, baby. It was surprisingly hard to keep her balance, and she spilled a bit of the water when she hopped off the stool. The red maned pony sighed. <laughs> <clears throat> and shook her little head, frustrated with, frustrated with another mess in the kitchen. She'd clean it all up later. Twist pulled peanuts out of her dry food. What? Twist pulled peanuts out of her dry, out of her dry foods drawer. Okay, you have a... F <sighs> Your organization. And carefully... And carefully... Okay. And caramel from another cabinet. I can't read. Sorry. It was a bit of a miracle that she knew where to find all of her ingredients. Luckily, Twist was a very organized filly. You don't say. 
twist opened one final cabinet, reaching for her last ingredient. Hmm, wonder what that would be. I actually have no idea. Probably sugar or something. Well. Um. What? Oh no, it's out of butter again. That's what it says. It's no with. It literally says no with. Like N O E T H. No with. What? Twist. Yeah, I can't do twist. I can't do twist. Twist. Insert adorable twist here. Twist rolled her eyes, thinking of how much butter she went through every single week. She pictures a tons of tubs. She considered cutting down on it on it in recipes, but she couldn't help herself. It made everything taste so rich and salty. Wow. Okay. There was no way in Equestria she could make she could make peanut brittle without butter. Scratch head. I'm at a beggar. The very thought of such a thing w made her shudder, and she stacked her ingredients in a tiny pile for later. Yes, has to be tiny. Otherwise, it doesn't appear right. Why does it say tidy? I don't know. I don't really care. For now, she was off to Sugar Cube Corner, where there was always a multitude of delicious ingredients waiting. Scroll down. Why is scrolling not working? Okay. Boulder tumble? What the hell? Oh yeah, that's right. I was see. <laughs> Here, just make it myself for the fun of it. Nah, it's a story. I'll make it. See, so, <clears throat> I mean, Boulder Tumble ran through through the town of Ponyville. He always did enjoy stopping or visiting this town because the ponies were so nice and friendly. Boulder smiled. Your name should be Tom. But so lost in his joyful play, he didn't see the building and ran right into the wall. The impact knocked him back and onto his back on the ground. He blinked as he rubbed his face. <laughs> <laughs> Boulder laughed as he mis mistake. Boulder laughed at his mistake, then got up and returned to his endless course of walking about the town. He had no des destination in mind, at least not at the moment. As he walked, he spotted a filly he had never met before. <gasps> and Boulder began... Boulder. And Boulder... And Boulder being Boulder, what the hell? And Boulder being Boulder could not contain his excitement to meet a new friend. He ran over as fast as he could. And as soon as he reached the filly, he stopped. He grabbed her hoof and started to sh shake it fast. 
Hello there, my name is Bolder Tumble, but anyone just call me Bolder, I guess that was my name, it's not really even, what's your name? Bolder smiled as he intruded his himself, as he in, what? Boulder smiled as he introduced himself. Smack. This day was turning out to be better than he had hoped. Why do you say that? Hmm. Rape. He was in a friendly town and was meeting a new friend. What could make it any better? Rape. Twist smiled as a new cold ran over to her, one that was thankfully not Truffle Shuffle. <laughs> Go figure. Babe. He was a green cult with grayish purple eyes. Why look at him so curiously, Twist? Babe. Very friendly. In appearance. Okay. While she'd never exact while she'd never exactly had her hoof grabbed for a shake before, she didn't mind. He had just he had just talked to her straight straight away, not repelled by her looks. Okay. Twist couldn't believe her luck. It was usually so difficult for her to make friends. Right? Things were getting better now that she had a cutie mark, but she was still disliked by many, mostly because. Ah, oh, no! 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 Stupid phone! Stop it! Oh my god! Ah. Oh my god! Random! Completely random! Cell phone advertisement out of. Nowhere. Ah, uh, just, just, wow. Okay. Where was I? Hmm. Let's see. Purple sensor for this. Sensor rape. Um, more rape. Um. Twist couldn't believe her luck. It was usually difficult for her to make friends. Things were getting better now that she had a cutie mark, but she was still disliked by many, mostly because of her lisp. Lisp. Twist suddenly felt an immediate drop in confidence. He hadn't yet heard her speak. <gasps> oh my god! The voice that's still gonna make so much of a difference. Oh my god, like, pfft, why do you even care? Right? Okay, um. It's not like she could help her lisp, but people were. Ponies were often so mean about it. She had tried so hard to speak like all the other ponies. But, see, you, you got it right there. Do that every single time, please. Please, just do it for me. Or everyone else is listening to this. Probably no one. But they still liked to tease her. Most of it wasn't too terribly mean-spirited. But Twist was a rather sensitive pony. She looked up from the ground... And into his and into the purple eyes of Boulder Tumble. She felt dizzy, weak. This couldn't end well. Rip. Hi, I'm Peppermint Twift. Nice to meet you. Twist, twist, twist cringed. Two uses of the letter S. Oh my god! This pony would probably laugh at her too. 
Boulder tumble, stop shaking, twist surf. Hello, Fathom and Twist. Oh, maybe you prefer pepper? Or maybe mint? Oh! <clears throat> Do you like sweets? Are you able to make candy canes? You like candy canes? I love candy canes! What sort of candy do you like? Twist was astonished. This cult hadn't even noticed her lisp. At least, if he had, he surely didn't mention it. He was asking her about nicknames, sweets, and candy canes. Twist felt a rush of excitement hit her head on. She was so excited to talk to this cult. So more. Rape. He was so excitable. And apparently I just lost connection to something. That's great. He was so excitable. Bouncing all around. Like some other pony we know. And the sweet filly giggled at his eagerness. What a sweetheart. Rape, 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 rape. Boulder was just so excited he was practically hopping up and down. Of course, this constant movement and his given clumsy. Cl what? Clumsiness was a rest recipe. Set for some sort of disaster. Mmm. Wonder why his name's Boulder Tumble. Hint, hint. Boulder hopped up once more, but as he went to land on his hooves, he tripped and landed flat on his face. Twist gasped. <laughs> She was about to help him back on his feet, hooves, when Boulder lifted himself off the ground, spat on two rocks, Boulder double rape, and just laughed. This guy's scaring me now. <clears throat> I fell! He was seemingly unharmed, but maybe he was just the kind that ignored pain and all that. Twist couldn't believe it. Are you okay? Twist asked. Quite surprised, Bowler nodded. Uh, ooh, this is gonna be fun. <laughs> I'm fine. I fell down a lot, but I'm a good, I mean, but it's okay. Say, do you wanna be friends? Do you wanna go? Do you wanna go and play tag and maybe dance? Or, and uh, are you doing something already? Boulder really hoped he could play with his new friend. Rape! He could show her his favorite game. Um. What? Sassafras? Is that a game? Is that a nickname for rape? I don't understand. But what if she was busy? Hmm. What if? Still rape. Boulder might have interrupted her here on an Okay, Boulder might have inter interrupted here on an errand or a game with other fillies and cults. If she was already playing with others, would they let him join? Or would they want to be friends as well? Oh, so many possible.
Oh, so many possible events. <laughs> Too many, in fact, that Boulder's mind went a bit blank as he slowly processed it all. Doing so, though, would make him seem to be staring off into space. At the time, as he pondered, pondered, that word, so confusing, that, that weird. It wouldn't really matter, he decided. He had lots of opportunities to play. Rape! For Twist, though... An opportunity to play and make a new friend didn't show up every day. Twist felt so happy suddenly. Pleased to be pleased to pleased to be making a brand a brand new friend that will rape you. She so badly wanted to play the rape game. That that would be so much fun. Hide hide and hide and seek rape, trape, and of and all of it sounded amazing. But suddenly Twist remembered why she was out of the house in the first place. She needed to get some butter from Sugar Cube Corner, but she couldn't pass up the opportunity to make a new friend, could she? This kind of decision made her feel anxious to rape. Her heart out, her head hurt. Suddenly, Twist had a great idea. I should rape him. No, that's that's not what it says. Trust me, things change every distinguished paragraph. So this is just a really long, really long, immensely freaking enormous. Oh my God! What? Why the hell is this the freaking big paragraph? So I'm on my way to the sweet song called Sugar Cube Corner. Um, so that I can pick up some butter and make some candy. Picked up the ingredient. I, what? Okay, I don't. I lost place of twist there. I need to practice my twist. Insert cute twist here. Twist felt so incredibly clever and so incredibly charming. Ugh. Hopefully this cult would say yes and the two could get to know one another and rape. She just loved making new, <clears throat> I mean, new friends. Hopefully, he wasn't busy. <clears throat> she really hoped he wasn't already occupied. Scroll down. I said, scroll down, stupid. <clears throat> Sure, I'd like to come along. I've never been that place before, but it sounds really sweet. Huh, you don't say. Boulder closed his eyes, picturing all the delicious sugary treats to eat. Anyway, molestation on the Friendship Express. Oh boy, let's go! Let's go now! A boulder shouted in in an excited in in excitement and practically ran off ahead. 
Of course, he didn't get far before he ran into another wall or building and falling on his rear again. Wow, this guy's such a freaking boulder tumble. Can't believe I just did that. Boulder's eyes spun around as he regained his equilibrium. Finally shaking his head and stars he saw. What? He suddenly rem remembered that he didn't know where Sugar Cube Corner was. So he ran back to Twist and said, <laughs> I forgot. I don't know where it is. Would you lead the way? And Twist giggled. <laughs> I'm not doing that ever again. Don't. Fuck my life. Okay. Hair is in my face now. Where was it? Twist giggled. Her new companion was rather clumsy, just like her. Oh god, this is going to turn out bad. Of course, she wasn't as bad. He wasn't. As of course, she wasn't as bad as he was. Always seem seemingly distracted. She nodded and began to skip off on her way to Sugar Cube Corner again. Jeez, her day's just like turning upside down. It's like mind fuck all over again. Who's saying this? I'm... <clears throat> I'm glad I have someone to... Someone to... Some to Sugar Cube Corner with me. It's the best place in the world. There's all kinds of sweets and and what and tons of amazing treats I love it there also the Panimana who the penny he worked there and always willing me to help me out. I don't know. Twist grinned at her new friend. She was so excited to hang out with his some more what? Okay, I don't know. Boulder followed an eager smi Boulder followed an eager smile on his face. He liked he liked his new friend. She didn't laugh at his ac ac accidents as much as some kids did. Granted, Boulder laughed along as well, but at times he f felt that the kids were laughing at him and not with him. Sorry for creaking, fixing here. Wonder why. Um, looking ahead to see you saying this. Oh. Cool. I can't wait to see it. He said. Oh. Oh. Do you think they will have jam flavored candies? Or trans flavored? I don't even know anymore. What the hell was they? Wait, did I just say. What, what am I thinking? Uh, I hope they have toast and jam flavored candies. Yum! What the hell am I saying? Uh, they might. They might have jam flavored candies. But I'm not sure. <clears throat> I think I just got my tongue stuck in my throat. I'm 
I'm not sure about the toast of uh, the Vuthva. I I live here. I have all my life. I've lived here all my life. What? I confuse. Twist explained. So, do you live here, or is it your dad visiting as well as for a job or something? What are they even saying? I don't know. Boulder asked. <clears throat> my eyes am inspecting quarries here for building a tail. Did you know that this town was a lot of value of metamorphic rock in some of the valley? Oh, did you know that metamorphic rock is found in existing rock types or something like that? I remember that it being subject to heat and pressure. Marble is a guy that made a rock, and it is great for a building. I got a building, and it was such a pretty bright color. You spelled color weird. I guess this guy's Australian or girl. If that's how Australian people spell color, how do you spell color? Comment. Mulder couldn't contain his excitement on explaining every freaking thing in the entire universe about marble and its in its category in the rock world. So he did. Three attorneys later, Twist Twist listened intently as Boulder rambled on about marble and other precious stones, including his. What? <clears throat> I didn't say anything. It was... It was awfully fascinating. Twist was a lover of nature. After all, the rocks aren't technically that much of nature. Well, I guess they're as much of nature as... The uh, I don't know, a Xbox 360 controller sitting on my floor about a foot away from me is. <laughs> okay. Wow. Your... Wow. Your dad works with rocks? I with my parents work with rocks. They're... Twist. Wrinkled her nose. Account... Accounties? What? I don't even know this. I've never read the word in my life, but no one's lispified. Ugh. Boulder smiled. I read several excavations and cries. What I really do. That's where my cutie mark games. Well, maybe I just have a hard head. <laughs> uh, I don't know anymore. Boulder laughed as the last part tapping a hoof against his head. A bit. <laughs> oh, you live here? Cool. What? One sec. What? Uh, I must read ahead. Where's an S? Okay. Oh, you live here? Oh, you live here? Cool. So you might as well get it. You might as well get it. So, yeah. You had any friends? Maybe we can go and see them and 
Then we get I get it to large lunch. I mean, uh, get to know each other and better be super duper friends. I do hope they have toasted jam flavor. Do you like toasted jam? Have you read the dag deer books? I've read all of them. I especially liked the result it was running away from the seven-headed tiger. And it was all <laughs> And she was all like, ah! And then it was all like, all like, <laughs> Twist's head was spinning in the best way possible. Boulder just didn't care about her appearance or lisp. He simply wanted to be friends, and from what he was saying, they did have a lot in common. She ate toast with jam practically every morning, she loved rocks, she was clumsy, and she loved the Daring Do books. The scene Boulder was mentioning was her favorite part, too. You read Daring Do too? <gasps> Gasp! Do you read the most popular books in all of Equestria? Of course I read them. What the fuck are you talking about, girl? <clears throat> I love that. I love that theories. I love that theories. I think. I don't know. Daring Do is Daring Do is my hero. Dun 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 dun! Why not, why not Rainbow Dash? She's actually real. And I really like Toast with Jam, too! I asked it all the time every morning! And I, and I don't know if I told you, told you, but I have the raw collection back at my house. Maybe you should tell me what all the rocks do are. Twist, twist squealed in excitement. It was a loud, ra razzly high pitched squeal. <coughs> In excitement, it was a loud, what well, I just explained, squeal that made a nearby dog whimper. You, 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 you dog, you, bit, no, 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 be afraid, be afraid, respect my daughter. Oh well, Boulder Tumble was definitely going to be. Her new best friend, a rip. Other than Truffle Shuffle, of course. That reminded the little, the little, the little something Billy of one last thing she needed to tell this friend. Something rather important. I, I, uh... I do know a lot of sillies and cults around here, but I don't have any friends. A lot of the ponies like to make fun of me because of my hair, my glasses, or my lisp, 
or any other amount of feet feet there you th you think really nice though you seem really nice though <laughs> oh god I did it again I can't in in you how many fil how many friends but I couldn't in you to my friends truffle truffle and apple bloom apple bloom apple bloom apple bloom apple bloom they're really nice Boulder, boulder frown, and then pull twist into a really tight hug. With rape, he had trouble controlling his strength at times of rape. Boulder, boulder's hug was the tightest, warmest, coziest hug Twist had ever had. With rape, she felt. She felt filled with, she felt filled with, felt, and, what, she felt filled with, felt, and swirling fuzzies. What, what the, what the hell does that even mean? Rip. The answer to everything is rape. Boulder was very sweet. Was a kind cult. <laughs> they just needed to... They... Just need to... They... They just need to get an eye of <laughs> Boulder said, Sometimes it takes sometimes longer to than I, I got to know it's really long. I got it. Or you, right? Well, oh, I know it is. Sometimes it just takes sometimes longer to the inside of you, of you and the friend they can have. I. Wait, did that? Ooh, sneaky, sneaky. What? Boulder let Twist up and continued following her to Sugar Cube Corner. One moment. So I just had to make sure I was recording. Where was I? And she was right too. Twist wasn't so bad once you got to know her. Your friends sound nice. Your friends sound nice! What are they like? Boulder felt eager to learn about the two ponies Twist, Twist spoke of. It was like meeting a friend before actually meeting them. What the fuck? Doesn't make any sense. Well, Truffle Thuffle is very funny. He tells very good jokes, and he likes food more than anything in the world. Apple Bloom! lives on a farm and is very, very sweet. Boulder listened as Twist described her friends. He couldn't wait to meet them face to face. That's their faces. They sounded like such nice ponies, and Boulder just, 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 just started to want to <clears throat> started hoping in 
scroll down excitement hopping and excitement hmm sugar cube corner Pinkie Pie another insanely insane pony shoved into one room what do you get a party you get a freaking party now if it doesn't turn out to be where P Pinkie Pie is the main character and this is some weird ship then I won't be satisfied with this stupidly interestingly annoying story Anyway, that's not like Fanny Fanny. I love to hear such jokes. What does the Apple Room do? What does the Apple Room do? What does she do? Apples? Oh, and she had a big red apple. I'm kidding, right? Twist laughed. Boulder already had her friends described to the twist detail in his mind. She she thought hard. Hmm. Thinking. Stepping over a big rock as she went. That she didn't know a few of Truffle Shuffle's jokes. The two ponies were in, uh, were in about the middle of the park. But fuck you in the park. Why are you in the park? You're going to. Ugh. I just did I miss something? I mean, since when are you in the park? I don't understand anymore. I do actual actually um I do actually know a few of Truffle Thuffle's jokes. Want to hear one? Twist kicked a stick aside and smiled. Jin giggling a little at a Punchline. Boulder had not yet heard. Oh, and Apple Bloom doesn't have a cutie mark yet. In fact, we became friends because we didn't have. We didn't have our cutie marks yet. I don't, I don't understand. Um. Then I got mine. But she. But she. Sit. Sit. Still. Still. Okay. Still. Now. Still. Hasn't got hers. I wonder what it will be. A twist shrugged. Thinking about her country friend who kept growing farther apart from her. <laughs> On... Oh, oh, how she missed walking home from school with Apple It was all okay, though. Apple Bloom had new friends now that, now that were even better, better for her than Twist. As soon as app as soon as Apple Bloom's cutie mark arrived and it wouldn't be long. The two couldn't the two could be best friends again. There was no doubt in the little Philly's mind. 
Are you sure about that twist? Because I'm pretty damn sure that the Cutie Mark Crusaders are going to still be doing weird shit once they get their Cutie Marks. Unless I'm mistaken. Fanfic incoming. Boulder looked around at the, at the park as he walked. Who wouldn't? Even walking into a, a la, low-hanging branch of a tree. Damn, you're an idiot. But the ranch was... But the ranch? <laughs> okay, that, that was me. But the branch was not very thick, so Boulder just ignored it. He seemed lost in his own little, annoyingly, atom-sized, cellular structure world of death and disease. Again, until he heard Twist talk of jokes. Jokes! Jokes? Oh! Ah! Oh, I hear it! That's a joke! He bounced up and down. You not get tired? You're like worse than Pinky now. Jeez, at least Pinky has a little bit of sanity. Damn. An excited look in his eyes. Twist smiled and began to tell her joke. Truffle Thuffle really likes food, so all he thinks about soaks are all his jokes are about that. Okay, so there's two stallions. So okay. Okay, so the two stallions had just escaped from prison, but were recaptured re really false. Wait. I forgot. I forgot. I forgot this part. They ran away. Because they didn't like the prison food. The warden. Quar qua 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 the warden qua th 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 questioning them after what. Why? What did you use to break out with us? <laughs> hmm. They replied. Um. French toast! Exclamation mark. <laughs> Boulder just laughed. Of course, it didn't take much to make him laugh. Seriously, you could drop a boulder on his head and he'd crack up laughing. I mean, come on. You're you're about to die, and you laugh. That's worse than Pinkie Pie. At least she has a little bit of freaking sanity. I've said this before, but I don't care. He's brainless. Let's see if they can turn that around. Uh, where was that? Um... Boulder just laughed. Of course, it didn't take much to make him laugh. Rip. He pulled Twist to in, he pulled Twist to a hug as she laughed and then let her go. She was surprised once a, once more at how comfortable Boulder was in in her presence. Ugh. 
She felt important to someone, some pony, and that filled her with overwhelming <clears throat> joy. That was funny, Boulder said. A loud growl from his from his stomach. Following soon after. <laughs> Following short after, Boulder rubbed his tummy and chuckled. <laughs> He looked around, even though he wasn't sure what to be looking for. Twist looked around her, taking in every square inch of the surrounding. Twist loved details, like his... <clears throat> and enjoyed the view of the park. Boulder didn't seem to do to be that way, a very on-the-go cult, implying that he's a kid. Is he a kid? I don't know. Is this gonna? I don't know. Um, she admit she admired that, thinking of all the days she'd wasted, but she'd wasted. By just absorbing things, they they weren't far from Sugar Cube Corner. We're not that far now. Come on, baby, and I'll show you the way to a brand new life and a brand new way. Wow, that was actually pretty good. <laughs> Improvised. Cirrus improvised terrible singing. 101. Twist nodded at him as they continued on Boulder. As as they they continued on, Boulder suddenly felt an idea sprang into his head. He even made. A verbal. But as it came to him, let's say I spy on the way. You go first. Oh, that will be so much fun. Buller said as he began to hop again, tripping over his own hooves once more and hitting the ground. Oh my god. You're such a fucking idiot! Where's your fucking brain? Ugh. At least not face first this time. Okay. A little bit, a little bit more sandy. Give you that much. Twist smiled and started first. She looked around for something interesting, anything to catch Boulder off guard, or make him laugh. She suddenly felt the odd need to impress him, what, wanting to make herself look good in his eyes. She, wa she wasn't sure why, but looking around hard, Suddenly, she spotted it. A giant pillar shaped like a giant... Beep. Hmm. I think I spy with my little eye a huge bird. Boulder looked around, his head snapping here and there. Oh, this was so exciting now. <laughs> um, <laughs> bye bye. 
he said as he looked. Is it is it a bag? Or oh, oh maybe a team headed those like them dang dead in the baby stuff Twist smiled at at Boulder and shook her head. Was he really giving up so easily? Um. Wait, who's saying this? Oh, damn it, yawns. I'm not giving up any hints. I'm. <sighs> damn it. I'm not giving you any hints, Boulder. Boulder tapped his chin as he thought. <sighs> you didn't catch it like a bird? Boulder looked up and, and looked up to see if it if it if he saw one. Look! That's some shit by toast! Though you would see that. Ugh. Jeez, Boulder. Twist giggled. I'm not doing a giggle. Don't ask me to do that ever again. Ever. Ever. As she looked up to where Boulder was pointing. The cloud did look a little bit like toast. But not really. It was more square than anything. I just got poked. One second. I need to type something. Um, uh, um, 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 people are annoying the crap out of me. Take care of. Okay. Where was I? Uh, it's written in here. You really are hungry. Twist laughed. Patting Boulder on the back. But don't worry. Sugar Cube Corner isn't too far away. In fact, we're almost there. Okay. The two young ponies excited... The Yutung ponies exited the park and were now very near to squares. Town Square. I suck. But was I right? Boulder asked. Well, maybe it's a big. Hack that blah, bye, right? Twist's mind suddenly jogged. They were playing this game, right? Wait, what? Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. That was the bird big bird thing that I said about. Twist smiled at Boulder and raised her hoof for a huge, for a high five. Boulder smiled and cleared. What? Oh god. Hooray! <clears throat> he high five Twist with a big grin. He loved this game. Okay, my turn, he said as he looked around. I spy my eye, a giant gun of gay gun to go blind in the bad house. Twist gasped, Ex excited, excited. Time had really flown. Huh, just throwing a clocks? They were just out of the park, and the 
giant and the gingerbread house Boulder was speaking of was none other than her destination, Sugar Cube Corner! That's the Sugar Cube Corner! Twist. Twist. Hollered. I hollered the wind and hollered the air. In excitement. Taking Boulder's hand, hoof, and dragging him across the square. The two young ponies dodged all sorts of big ponies and made their way in in an ultimately smooth manner. After this, the two could hang out. Twist smiled, feeling warm all over. She could she couldn't wait to bring him home and show her parents her brand new friend. Hey, look mom, look dad. I've ma I made an I've hired a slave today. You you Honey, get my shotgun. I must deal with our daughter at last. <laughs> My daughter, quite interesting. Quiet, isn't it? Okay. And that's the end of our story. Okay, I'm pretty sure a lot of you are probably thinking, hmm. I'm pretty sure he's read this before and he pretty much hates it. Well, for those of you who are thinking that, go and just you know, be nice to someone for five minutes. Just go, just go hug a pony, okay? Just go hug a pony because you're completely wrong. I don't hate the story. I thought it was a good story. I said it was a casual reading. It wasn't supposed to be serious, and that's what it is. It's a really great story, really well written. Sonic Rainbow Girl, I applaud you. You're awesome. Anyway... I've got to go, I have things to do, so, yes, like, editing this video to give it to you guys, because I'm pretty sure you want that, right? I mean, you want to be sitting at home listening to this right now, I'm calling myself out from the past, future not. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this more casual reading, and please subscribe to our nice little channel called Pony Express. I'm serious. Hopefully we'll be starting up some music here and there and some different animations and some podcastiness and multiple different people working on this goddamn little fucking channel. I mean, seriously. Guys, people, if Gunslinger, Devix, Musashi, if you guys are listening to this, please give me stuff to upload. Please, I'm begging you, give me stuff to upload. I will literally upload anything as long as the word pony is mentioned. I don't give a shit anymore, okay? <clears throat> anyway, I'm Sirius, this is Pony Express. Have a nice day.